My name is Kira Trant, I played for Dublin and I played against Meath in the 2021 All-Ireland Final. My name is Orla Duff and I played with Meath and we played Dublin in the 2021 All-Ireland Final. Everyone wasn't saying, I want to play in Crow Park one day, like I was the little girl saying that, but not many of the other little girls yeah. were saying that. I remember finding like posters of a few Dublin players and I remember like sticking them up on my wall, not having seen them play or anything before, but no, but, like I want to be like her. I remember first going into a senior me team when I was 16 and thinking, wow, like, oh my God, they're giving me a cup of soup and a triangle sandwich. Because <laughs> now it's like, hey, we've got a team psychologist and a nutritionist and it's come an awful long way from when I started. The amount of work that goes into that as well, just to make it a professional setup so that they can get the best set of, of, of you as a player. People are asking for your autograph and asking for pictures when like no one did that. Nobody. So I always thought it was really nice when boys came up to you and said, can I have your picture? Yeah. I, so I was like, wow, like you're impacting them. Like it doesn't matter what your gender is. Like they're- You're doing they're, what they yeah, want to do. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. they don't really see the difference. It was a, definitely a dream come true to make it to an All-Ireland final, like my first. Be down to the club in, in yeah. Finians and I'd be checking over my shoulder to make yeah. sure no one's looking and I'd walk the pitch and be like, imagine, imagine. this is Crow Park. Everyone has a kind of a familiar scenario and I can picture your dressing room the way you can obviously picture my dressing room now. Like it's I just couldn't understand the girls that were like joking and laughing and talking about something like completely off topic. All when the coaches were showing us pictures of different athletes, there, there's, there's something related about all of them. We couldn't really figure it out. And then at the end, he was like, these are all underdogs. And when you go out on Sunday, please God, after the game, you'll be a picture that in years to come will be used in a dress room to say these were the underdogs and they defied all the odds and they won. If you give it your all, you can achieve. And you know, and there's like a fairy tale element to it. We struggled for an awful long time. We were just like the lucky ones that were in a group of people that every single person could do anything to be part of the group. I'll never forget running with the cup over to the hill and like people banging on the, on the barrier. I'll never forget you doing that either. Really? Yeah. But you feel like it's the worst thing ever when you lose, especially in such a big stadium and all eyes are on you and you feel like you've built up to this one day, this one game, this one hour. But you don't go back the following year, the November, December, January, whatever, and you're not feeling sorry for yourself, then you're not wallowing, you don't even kind of even no talk about it. Yeah, no time. You're running. <laughs> you're running. <laughs> you're panting. <laughs> <laughs> to get to eight, like, and to be still, as driven as number one, like you're working towards a greater goal. To be involved in eight, like eight in a row, it's like something that we don't really we don't talk about enough feeding or, or celebrate enough yeah. feeding. I actually had a, a rule I developed and strictly enforced at home. And I even put up a sign on the door really? saying, once you come inside the house, just please don't talk to me about football. Or if I could, you know, do it all over again. Like, even though you sit here and think, God, I couldn't do it again, but you would if, if you knew what the outcome was going to be. You do eat, sleep and breathe football for the time you're in it. There's such a thrill in being that obsessed with it as well though. It's what you crave, yeah. crave though. Like. Yeah. As a player, as a man, as management, whether you're the FLO or you're the kit person, like you are obsessed with it and you want the best for everyone in the group. It's like only 50 years? Yeah. But like look how, that's how far well, yeah. it's come. Or even compared to like, Maybe the first All-Ireland I went to, to where it is now, it's incredible. Even how different it all was yeah. back then, but just how, just getting a similar buzz out of it to what, exactly. to what we get. Yeah, yeah. I feel a little bit kind of guilty yeah. as well. Yeah. So like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry this happened to, to me and not, not yeah. you. Like Amazing groups, even when I went in at like 16 and thinking, like God, you gave everything, your heart, your soul. We definitely wouldn't be in the position we are today without those girls. It was as if they were, the 16th player on the pitch that, like, that they had paved the way. Do you want kids to come to games and say like, God, that could be me one day. It's just great to see like that there are now crowds coming to games, getting out of the tunnel, taking your first step on and the roar. Yeah. Or even the match beforehand and yeah, someone gets a goal or the match has ended, you you hear that roar yeah. in, in the dressing room and it's, like that that awaits it's the run over to the bench yeah, for the photograph the oh, I i'd be wrecked by the time we get to the other side smile, smile. Yeah, do we smile? why didn't we not? discuss this before <laughs> and no one discusses it i don't yeah. well you don't know, know i'm just trying to breathe like it's just it's yeah. it's immense really just from my career it's you know from 2014 to you know having maybe bits of the dab and 
spectators there yeah. and then to go into to our 21 final and, and people on the hill for the first time like the flags are out the, the people yeah. are in like like nothing beats having a packed stadium and yeah. just the crowd the noise and the colour of all Ireland final day when you have a full crowd in so you, it's all Ireland final day like nothing repeats it or replaces it people need to get out and support the athletes that put in the effort to get there. And you're getting three games as well. It doesn't really matter who's playing or, no, or you no. know who you're supporting. It can only grow from here. So we'll be looking back and saying, there are actually no empty seats in Grove Park.